the Matco Tools Compact Diagnostic Leak Detector can easily find leaks resulting in big tickets for your shop and commonly find damaged or disconnected vacuum lines, leaking gaskets and fittings, cracked or broken plastic components, leaking diaphragms and seats, worn throttle shafts, leaking or cracked exhaust or intake manifolds, especially plastic intake manifolds, engine blocks, oil seals, catalytic converters, under dash climate control and central locking system leaks, idle motors and solenoids, brake boosters, charcoal canisters, intercoolers and turbochargers. But did you know you can also check for wind and water leaks around doors, windows and sunroofs, and leaky headlamp and tail lamp housings? The most common leak found in automobiles is a vacuum leak. A vacuum leak can range from a leaky intake manifold to a rotten or broken vacuum line or fitting to a climate control leak under the dashboard. Let's go over the basic hookup of the diagnostic leak detector to locate vacuum leaks. First, we must find a source to introduce the smoke into the system. A good choice is the brake booster vacuum supply line because every car has one and it does not disturb anything else in the system. We must also seal the intake so that smoke cannot escape back through the open intake pack. The yellow cap plugs provided will seal most applications. In the event that the intake is troublesome to seal, a piece of saran wrap or a latex glove and a rubber band will do the job in most cases. Another good choice is the air inlet tube. Using the exhaust cone adapter provided, plug this tube and introduce the smoke through the small hose in the center of the exhaust cone. This method is simple and should be the first choice whenever possible. It's not uncommon to find oil leaks while looking for vacuum leaks. The diagnostic leak detector will find even the smallest leak in the exhaust system with the engine off and the system cold. Exhaust leaks are simple to find with the diagnostic leak detector using the supplied exhaust cone adapter. Simply install the exhaust cone into the vehicle's tailpipe and insert the smoke supply nozzle into its hose. Now just turn on the smoke supply and look for the leak using the supply halogen lamp. Some of the most common trouble codes confronting technicians today are related to a leaking condition in the EVAP or fuel vapor recovery system. First, locate the EVAP service port. Most 96 and newer cars have one, and it usually has a green cap. Remove the Schrader valve using the tool provided. Note that the Schrader valve has left-hand threads and must be turned clockwise to remove. If the vehicle does not have a service port, it may be necessary to remove the vent line to the gas tank at the charcoal canister. Another way is to tee into the evaporative emission line at or near the purge valve without bypassing the purge valve. Next, install the service port adapter provided and insert the diagnostic leak detector's nozzle into the short hose leading from the service port adapter. We're now ready to begin testing the EVAP system. If the vehicle is equipped with a vent solenoid that is normally open, it's necessary to close this solenoid using your scan tool before pressurizing the EVAP system. Simply open the flow control valve and watch the pressure increase on the pressure gauge. Take a look at the flow meter to see if air is flowing through the system. Remember, a leak rate of 0.1 liters per minute equals a 0.02 leak. A leak rate of 0.5 liters per minute equals a 0.04 leak. To verify these flow readings, close the flow control valve and look at the pressure gauge. If the pressure in the system is decreasing, a leak exists and we will now find it with smoke. To produce smoke, press the silver button on the front of the machine. The diagnostic leak detector will produce smoke for five minutes or until the button is pushed again, stopping the smoke producing cycle. While the system is being filled with smoke, remove the fuel cap and wait until thick smoke is visible exiting the fuel neck. You may need to depress the flapper valve inside the fuel neck to get a good flow. Now reinstall the fuel cap and look for the smoke exiting the leak source. If smoke does not exit the fuel neck in a minute or two, 
access the EVAP system through the vent line to the gas tank at the charcoal canister. The bright halogen lamp provided will illuminate the exiting smoke, making it much easier to see. Follow the path associated with the EVAP system until the leak source is located. Once the leak is located and repaired, recheck the system to verify that the repair has solved the problem. Do a quick pressure decay test using air only to confirm. Remove the service port adapter and reinstall the Schrader valve and protective cap. Find wind and water leaks around windows and doors. This test is performed using smoke from the outside of the car. Roll up the windows and turn the fresh air fan motor to the max setting. Make sure this is not set to recirculate. From the outside of the car, using a diffuser, any short piece of hose with a diameter of about 5 eighths placed over the nozzle to create a thicker flume of smoke. Move the smoke around the area where the leak is suspected. Hold the smoke a few inches from the test area and search for the disturbance caused by the leak. Now mark the area and make the repair. This test must be conducted in still air. You may want to close the doors in the shop for this one. Repairing leaky tail lamp housings are a snap. Simply remove the tail lamp housing, insert the diagnostic leak detector nozzle in the bulb hole. Use a little silicone to make the repair and replace. Lean codes, drivability issues, EVAP codes, and many other repair opportunities can now be fixed in a fraction of the time it took before. Buy the Matco Tools Professional Diagnostic Leak Detector now and join the tens of thousands of technicians, dealerships, and garage owners all around the world who use it every day. We are confident this will quickly become an essential tool you cannot live without. Ask your Matco Tools distributor for one today or go online to matcotools.com.